Hi folks and welcome back on our YouTube Kubai Design channel. Many customers and uh, people all over the world ask us on what we are doing with the G-Wagons. We are completing and selling a worldwide ship the overall conversion 6x6 and 4x4 kits for G-Wagons W463 and today we will uh, fully show you on our examples on our own G-Wagons on what we convert into like from before and after that's G63 AMG original without any tuning that's fully stock will be 4x4 converted squared that's G55 AMG almost fully stock but something changed that will be 6x6 converted and that's the G500 will be converted also into 4x4 as it original made and let us begin from the very end so that's a stock G500 without any tuning I mean the um, interior tuning and the engine tuning it will be converted into 4x4 squared as original it will be lifted for um, almost uh, two or uh, two and a half inches and um, we will make the, um, the wheels more widen more high uh, as for exterior tune you can see everything is changed uh, i i mean the all the overall carbon tuning here and here on the bumper on the hood bonnet on the roof spoiler everything is changed but as for interior especially we didn't make anything just to show you uh, an example of older g-wagon on how it be uh, uh, in this uh, overall comparison with the newer g-wagons on what we can make with an interior also with an exterior so this g-wagon has been tuned uh, by exterior but not for interior in the we will compare the front look the rear look and the side look with these stock g-wagons those two g-wagons g63 and g55 mg uh, haven't been tuned at all but a little um, differences uh, they still exist so we made a hood scoop on the bonnet just and made the front look like this grill insertions at the badge into black that's all we've made with this G-Wagon but in the future while we will make the 6x6 from this we will convert the front look in carbon fiber look with some extensions in the black uh, it called the shadow package uh, that, that means uh, that the front look and the rear look also as the side will totally be built in completely different from the G63 and this G63 beautiful monster uh, is pure stock without any tuning but will be converted into 4x4 squared uh, as you may know uh, the G500 comes in stock uh, with the portal axles and this G63 will be converted into 4x4 also with the portal axles uh, there are only five cars all over the world built the G63 engine on portal axles 4x4 not 6x6 that's very interesting um, example we'll convert and show you on how it runs so that's a pure clean car without any extensions or uh, like any differences from original because as it is original without any tuning everything is stuck uh, we would like to leave everything in stock just to save its originality you know uh, because when buyer any customer wants to keep everything in a manufacturer's condition well we'll give it to them the all condition the exterior and interior is very good and uh, we uh, insist on our decision to keep everything in original so we will not cut anything will not change anything but the same minor things like um, for example steering wheel as it's an uh, G63 AMG car but uh, the steering wheel comes from usual uh, G-Wagon 
uh, it doesn't have the big pedal shifts from behind you can see that the small ones and uh, for example we'll change some minor badges uh, make some carbon fiber probably overlays and that's all we'll keep the original condition the main thing we will do that's the only lifting the car uh, to make the wheels bigger uh, the tires will be very huge as 4x4 that's a, that will be an off-road car uh, of course uh, with the portal axles and we will uh, show you later later on um, how it runs with the draggy uh, we'll show the speed up and the acceleration on and without portal axles this is g55 amg almost stock but few things were changed so let's look at this everything is in original except the door braces you see how they work um, any g-wagon comes without the door braces that's an option we can install on your car and of course we will do on our next projects let us show you the overall interior condition so initially this g55 mg comes in stock uh, and uh, this this is a 2008 year manufacture old but as you can see the overall interior has been changed to a 2013 style as we can see everything is be changed um, initially from older to newer one that's a handmade product everything from new original g-wagon that's not chinese that's pure original because you know uh, it's not possible to change like um, electricity boxes here and there from gearbox for approximately for, for um, steering wheel the dashboard uh, all the electricity boxes all the uh, cans all the hubs all the wires should be from one car because it connects by its VIN code each other and uh, it's not possible to for example to connect the gearboxes model to to dashboard from newer or older or another car the very interesting thing that uh, this uh, g55 mg has a longer rear seats that uh, go out to the rear part and it's like the limousine so let's check the stock g-wagon from this point to this point uh, from the middle pillar to the this point of seat has 25 centimeters that's for, for approximately 10 inches um, the length this one has 46 centimeter length that's longer out here so when i sit here you can see the difference between the stock g-wagon and this one because even this seat has been moved to the rear point and i sit behind me and me once again and i sit here so i can sit it twice uh, to the length and uh, the width of course is same we cannot make the g-wagon wider but we can make the interior longer well but if you know that if you want to implement any technology uh, in a g-wagon you need to make a sacrifice anywhere so to make the seats longer out to the rear part we needed to cut this part in the body to make it happen like two seats come here and uh, built inside here so of course um, it doesn't allow uh, for the wheels to be installed so we decided to um, just um, install it on the wheel spacers that's uh, five centimeters for about two inches width so um, first of all we made the seats longer out 
and uh, we made the car wider, two options in one uh, with the wheel spacers. And uh, technically, it's very interesting um, construction over here. And uh, there is also an option to make um, the two uh, the two seats uh, all around, just in a perspective for the future G wagons six by six. That's a G sixty three stock interior, as you can see. As I've um, moved the uh, the front seat to the nearest back, and I can barely sit here. My knees touch the this seat it well it's not that comfortable and it dead 55 amg well that's how the g wagon it is and our last g wagon this g500 let's show you on what we will make it here of course uh, as i've told previously the g63 and this g500 will be converted into 4x4 squared also, along as original comes, it will be lifted for approximately two inches on Bilstein uh, shock absorbers and uh, overall suspension. Of course, it will meet the portal axles conversion and the huge rims with the tires. So, with this we have now a G500 and G55 AMG newer style G wagons. Let us compare the interiors. Let's begin. This G500 G wagon has a 2000 set year manufacturer old, and you can see it has the simple old interior. On what we have, of course, some minor things changed, like forged carbon overlaying here and here, everywhere. The badges, the steering wheel has been remanufactured, the anatomy, the overall shape, the materials, everything, the door panels. Uh, that's custom built but overall it's an old g-wagon and when you see it inside an old car you can feel it the smell the shape the material everything any button is like from the old republic you know you want something more and what do i mean from the old g-wagon interior we can introduce the full changed interior from old style to new style because this car uh, this g500 uh, has a 2000 third year manufacturer old and this g wagon in 2008 uh, the difference in years is not that uh, that much but overall uh, condition of interior of course is very huge uh, it differs anywhere in, in anything we can change from older style to newer one this uh, for example interior has been placed from 2013's year and as i've told uh, previously we will keep our g wagons converted into 4x4 and 6x6 and we'll place the portal axles onto these cars and let's compare the acceleration on the cars without and with the portal axles. In stock, uh, as Wikipedia says, it has G500. In stock, it runs for 10 and a two points of seconds. G55 AMG, uh, also as Wikipedia says, it runs for 55 seconds. And the G63 on twin turbo runs for five and four points of seconds so the total difference between these two cars is not that much the only and a half of a second five and four five and five
So we've made all the acceleration tests. We've shown you our G wagons before, and we will show you the whole process and uh, um, on the overall ending how it should be: the 4x4 converted and the 6x6 before portal axles and after, before some tuning and after, before chip investigation for origin and after. So stay tuned, describe, put your likes.